You shot Liz. <laughs> it was an accident, okay? We were playing paintball. Dude, it was no accident. Unless you accidentally pointed the gun at her head and then accidentally cackled after you fragged her. Look, guys, guys, I'm in enough trouble as it is. Just act like it's no big deal, all right? All right. No problem. Okay. McPatch Patch. <laughs> Ark, you can hardly notice it. Oh, stupid paintball. They really should warn you about those guns, huh, honey? They showed us a 20 minute video called A Warning About These Guns. <laughs> yeah. War. Ark, make him walk the plank! <laughs> ah, ciao. Ah. I don't think she appreciates your pirate humour, do you, Patchy Patcherson of the West Patchfield District of Patchland? You know, Chow's more clever than you. Er, uh, hey, B. Liz, again, this, this goes without saying, but, but you know that I am very, very, very... Sorry. Yes, I know. You're always sorry. Your name should be Sorry Sarryson of East Sorryville. Wait a second. Hey, I know I've made a mistake or two, but that doesn't... A mistake or two? Let's see. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I lied about the crabs. I'm sorry I lied to you. I was just embarrassed about the whole gay porn thing. <laughs> All right. So I'm not perfect. You've made plenty of mistakes, too. Name one. Okay, you remember that time about two months ago? Is that your baby nephew? Can I hold him? Sure, sure. Just support the head. <laughs> like this? That never happened. You don't even have a nephew. Sorry. <laughs> Arr, looks like Liz won't be sharing any of the booty tonight. Mike, you have got a lot of work to do to get Liz to forgive you. I think I'm just going to break up with it. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do it. <laughs> Look, dude, I love Liz more than I have ever loved any woman. Gay. <laughs> I think it's run its course. Things are getting stale, man, and not just the sex. You know, I'm treating her really badly, acting like a jerk. I'm not a jerk. I'm a good guy. A good guy who just shouldn't be in a relationship. What's gay about loving a woman? The way you said it. The way you moved your hand. Like you were dancing. Well, look, if you're gonna do this, then just do it right, okay? Because Liz is a great girl, so just look her in the eye and, well, the good eye, and just be honest with her. If you hurt that girl, I will kill you, nurse you back to health, then kill you again. What is with you? I'm just upset about Bickford. You know, the education of Max Bickford. The best show ever! It's cancelled. TV, isn't it? I mean, they cancel shows that people love and then shows that nobody sees they leave on. <laughs> we should talk about something else. Hey, you want to go get a bit? Yeah. Just so, listen, Mike, you know, as much as I love Liz, it's going to be so great having the old mate back again. You know, it's been over a year since we've been on the prowl together, and the women around here have got pretty wild. Dude, I can't wait. Hey, and now I'm a year better looking. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> How'd it? He's new. Yeah, what about you? Oh, I'm quite experienced. Is that a fact? I could show you the ropes. Oh, you like ropes? Do you? The tighter, the better. And that's how it works. And now you need to leave. 
So you really gonna break up with Liz? Yeah, I think so. Just gotta find the right moment and let it down easy. Here's a tip. The best way to give somebody bad news is to squinch up your face, talk in a high voice, and, and go up at the end like it's a question. Like, uh, if I was a doctor, I'd go, I'm sorry, Mr. Platt, but I think we removed the wrong testicle. <laughs> Michael, there you are. Yep. Yo, bitch, you got a problem? Yeah, yeah, I'm status quo. I got a platinum selling CD, tons of the bling bling, and I got a billboard hanging up in Times Square. So how you gonna act, nephew? You stepped on my foot, man. And I am filled with regret. I am serious. <laughs> Michael, we need to talk. Now, I know you have this ridiculous notion that I've been trying to Shanghai the pooch vis-a-vis -vis Liz. Oh, status. No, no, Mike. Now, you and I are friends and neighbors. And while I find Liz very attractive, I would never do that to a friend and neighbor. <laughs> I love you, man. That's good, Status. <laughs> Look, I, I, I think I'm breaking up with her. <laughs> I am in! I don't know. You talk big, but I don't think you can handle me. Oh, I can handle you. You like it a little rough? <sighs> I love it rough. How'd it go with that girl? It's a little rough. <laughs> but very hot, Mike. You are gonna love being single again. Why are you limping? <laughs> well, uh, Kendall paid particular attention to an area of my body that I don't normally consider in the field of play. Ooh, Cho loves that. Not me. That area's for employees only, and I'm the only one working there. It's not like she's the first woman to tickle me Elmo, but, uh, it's just it went well beyond, you know, uh, I might be gay now. Pretty gay. Yeah, well, look, you guys gotta get out of here. Uh, Liz is coming over and, uh, I'm breaking up with her. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Well, good luck with that, mate. Wait up. I gotta go to the network anyway. I'm organizing a protest march to bring back Bigfoot. Check out my sign. We don't need no education. <laughs> Get it? Education. The education of Max Bickford. <laughs> <laughs>